Mahbu. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Flying Cal here with another vlog. I've seen so many of you lovely commenters telling me to visit the University of the Philippines, one of the best universities in the Philippines and even in the world that I thought I should do that, guys. Because you guys just have such a solid track record with suggesting stuff to me. It's always awesome. So what we're gonna do today, guys, is we are gonna head over to the University of the Philippines, Diliman campus. Diliman, Diliman, I don't know how to pronounce that. So uh, if you guys do, please uh, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but it does sound really cool, so I like saying it. Diliman, man, man. Dili, Dili, Diliman. I'm gonna catch a grab right now, guys, and head over there. I'm really excited. I think it's gonna be really impressive. So I see my grab. Ooh. Hello, sir. Ooh. Come on in, guys. To University of the Philippines, Diliman. Once again, super comfortable in the grab car. It's so hot outside. In here with the airco, it's just paradise. While we are super cozy and comfortable in this fantastic Manila traffic, I can tell you guys a little bit about uh, the University of the Philippines. It was established in 1908, people. That is a long time ago. And it was established by the colonial government of America. And apparently it was called the American University of the Philippines when it was established. Even today, the school seal still has like an American bald eagle on it. So it's pretty cool how you can still see those, you know, remnants of its history even today. But of course, as everybody knows, today it's called the University of the Philippines. The biggest university in the Philippines. It's going to be a sight to behold, guys. It is going to be impressive, I'm sure of that. The University of the Philippines is so big, in fact, guys, that it has 15 campuses over the entire Philippines and six constituent universities, of which Diliman is one. So we're just gonna see one of those constituent universities today, and that is probably gonna be gigantic by itself. So this is a university of epic proportions. The constituent university setup kind of reminds me of like, the uh, University of California system where they have a bunch of different constituent universities as well like uh, UCLA, UC Berkeley, UC Davies and stuff like that so it's pretty cool to see like this kind of American system surely no coincidence because it's what was set up by Americans so that is pretty interesting we're going at the speed of light people to Quezon City and we're going at the speed of snail again. But we're still making our way there, guys, so don't you worry. We will get there. Hopefully today, but definitely tomorrow. As we keep on driving, we have come into an area with just a lot of trees. It doesn't really look like a bustling city anymore, right? So it's nice and quiet here. This is a good place for students to study in peace without a lot of noisy ruckus going around. So yeah, it's starting to look like a, a university area. I think we have arrived because the car is stopping. That must mean something. Let's crawl out of this taxi, guys, into a beautiful university campus. We have driven through so many parklands and it is just green all over the place. Beautiful building. I'm really impressed. This is gigantic. Check out this, this informational board right here. There you have it, people. Founded on June 18th, 1908. So I had it right. It's a really old university. This is Oblation Plaza, guys, which is one of the most famous spots of the University of the Philippines, Diliman. And uh, it's famous for a reason, guys. It is gorgeous. I can't just not get over how grand it is here. And look at this statue. This statue has a very famous legend tied to it here on the University of the Philippines. 
Dillyman campus, and that is that if you take a picture with this statue, you will fail all your exams and never graduate, ever. So lucky for me, I've already graduated, and this legend has no effect on me. Yeah, statue, you're not gonna ruin my exams. <laughs> I say, without further ado, let's continue the exploration adventure of the University of the Philippines Diliman campus. All right guys, so some of you might not yet know, but I myself have studied at university as well. I've studied at the Erasmus University in Rotterdam, Peking University in Beijing, and the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia. So I'm just gonna explore this campus and uh, kind of see how it compares to my experiences. This board says created in 1908, we already knew that, but apparently the original buildings of the university were destroyed during the Second World War during the Battle of Manila. So this university has so much history. And in 1948, it was moved to where it is today. And uh, I say they did a really good job moving it because uh, it is gorgeous here and it is so grand. Quezon Hall, they have a miniature version of the entire campus and it looks gigantic. My suspicions were correct. It is like a small nation right here. I think right now we are here. So we have a lot of exploring to do. And there we can see it guys. The sigil of House Diliman, the bald eagle. Such a majestic creature. Usually I'm very spontaneous, I get to a place and I just kind of go with the flow but this place is so big I have no clue where to go so I took my telephone and uh, I went to the official website and looked at the sites of interest and I found a few so we're going there now. First we're going to go to the library and then there's some type of clock tower thing that looks really really nice. So I mentioned where I had studied and I haven't studied at the University of California but uh, this place really reminds me of those campuses, the, the building styles and all that, very, very similar. Wow, guys, that's a very, very nice statue. I feel like there's a, a story behind it. They are sewing the flag of the Philippines. Beautiful. The university has its very own theater. And, like, it's not too big, but uh, it's a very cute looking theater right here. And a very cool statue right in front of it. Check this out. That girl's hair is really strong. In the Netherlands, we have forests. And you know, as a kid growing up, I would go to have walks in the forests. And this campus reminds me of those forests because this is just gigantic. So many trees, so much grass. It's just like incredible. I think that everybody studying here at Dillyman must be like a top athlete or something because just to get to class you're probably gonna have to do like a two-hour sprint you know it's so big here so uh, everybody must be like studying with six packs you know see I'm correct she's sprinting to class right now check this out the University of the Philippines Diliman has its own tennis courts look at that Three big tennis courts, that is so epic. We are now, I think, in the engineering area and they have a really cool giant, giant of course, because this campus is giant, so everything needs to be giant, sundial. So compared to the universities that I've gone to, size-wise, they do not compare. The universities I went to are like universities for ants. This is a university for giants. What I'm walking on right now is like the central road going through the entire university. Look at all the trees. It's so green. Gorgeous, really, really gorgeous. That is Melkor Hall, guys. The College of Engineering. The people studying here are far smarter than I am, that's for sure. 
and uh, they're gonna be making really, really cool things in the future. Maybe even a super cool futuristic city. I am now walking towards the main library of the Dilliman campus, Gonzalez Hall. That looks like a very old building as well, wow. The main library of Dilliman, another building of epic proportions. I read online that uh, apparently multiple presidents of the Philippines and several judges all came from the University of the Philippines, so they must have studied really hard in that library right there. And right behind the library, they have a giant grassy field where I can see a lot of students gathering together, playing games, playing some sports. And I'm sure this is a top place to chill as well after class. That is what university is all about, people. Studying hard and then after class, coming here to chill, and throw some frisbee. They even have a giant UP, University of the Philippines sign, guys. But it also reads up, so that means only one thing for flying cow, guys. We gotta go up. Just like that, people. We're going up here on the University of the Philippines. This right here, people, as you can see, is called Malcolm Hall. It's the law school here at the University of the Philippines. And I have to say, this is probably my favorite building up till now. It's really beautiful, has a really colonial American style of architecture, and uh, just a very impressive building right here. Really, really nice. Reminds me of the buildings on the old American university campuses. The School of Business. This is what I studied at the Erasmus and uh, UPenn. These guys are studying so hard, believe me. And check this out, guys. They have a beautiful statue here. That statue obviously represents progress, moving forward, keeping the engines rolling, everything that business stands for. <laughs> Guys, the University of the Philippines Diliman has jeepneys on campus. That is the coolest thing ever. If I was attending here, I would just be sitting in the jeepneys all the time. I'd be doing my homework in the jeepneys, I'd be studying for exams in the jeepneys. And there's a cool little food stand right next to the jeepney stop, guys, where you can buy delicious snacks and dynamite so you can set your mouth on fire before you get into the jeepney. This is a very busy part of town. Uh, I mean university, but it's basically like a city. Um, I saw on the map that this is called the town center, so I'm assuming there's a lot of bustle here, a lot of hustle here, and uh, a lot of people living here probably on campus. So it looks very nice, guys. It's very cozy. I think class has just ended, guys, because it is busy here now. There's this other thing that I saw online that's really funny. Apparently, they call the exam week Hell Week. I wonder why that is. It's probably because the exams are so pleasant and so much fun for everybody here. We walked all the way through the university campus of Dilliman. It really is gigantic. I have never, ever seen a university this big. Even the university in Beijing, Peking University, is nowhere near as big as this campus right here. The university really does remind me of the American universities. A lot of the colonial architecture in the buildings and just like the way it's been set up. And another really cool fact that I read online is that apparently they have Greek life here on this campus, which means there are fraternities and probably also sororities. But yeah, so that's a very American thing and it's, it's quite cool to see that back here. What I really love about the UP Dilliman campus is that you have areas that are bustling and busy and where you can go to have a good time and then there's areas like this that are just so quiet and peaceful that when you want to get away from all the bustling noise, you come here to chill out, take a nice little walk, think about stuff, reflect on stuff. I've walked 
all the way through campus here at the University of the Philippines, Diliman. It was a really cool exploration adventure. Saw a lot of different buildings and parks. And it's just amazing here, really. It's just incredible. And uh, now we are at this gorgeous clock tower. One of the famous landmarks here at UPD. All right, guys. If you want to see more Flying Cal travels, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And if you enjoy this video, guys, don't forget to like it, subscribe, and hit that bell, people. See that bell right there? Hit that bell, people. And then I shall see you guys in the next episode. Peace out, take it easy.